So if we're going to take the time to make videos, we got to give the PDs what they want, and that's logos, logos, and logos. Most of the time when you're working with a logo, you'll want to work with PNG files, and the reason is because that makes the background transparent. Let's say this is my video down below, and I want to use this as a bug. The problem's going to be that white background that makes the image a square, where I'd rather have my logo look natural and be a circle. So what do we do? We need to edit that image. I'm going to show you how to do this on my favorite free online image editor. It's very similar to Photoshop with its tools and how it looks. It's called Pixlr, Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com slash editor. I'm going to go new image and I'm going to make it large. Let's just do, it really doesn't matter at this point what we're doing. The key here is to click the transparent box. Now I'm going to layer open image as layer and I'm going to find that logo. Now you can see here it's a little big. Oops. Stay. So I am going to resize it, free transform. If I hit shift, it makes sure that it keeps the aspect correct. So it say stays a square. If you drag this way or don't push shift, it might whack the ratio out. So so I don't want to do that. Let's just go ahead and make sure you hold shift and make sure that ratio stays correct. So it's still a square. Yes, I want to keep those changes. I'm just going to select the magic wand tool here. Delete, select and delete. Just hit on that white part. Select and delete and done. Image. Let's go edit, deselect all so it's not there. And then I'm going to go file, save. Let's make it a PNG, transparent, full quality. I'm going to save it to my desktop, logo, PNG version. And then I'm going to import it into Premiere. Import, let's see, desktop, logo, PNG version. Now when I import this image over to Premiere on top of my video, you'll see it's just the circle just like we want it. It'll be a lot cleaner, a lot more professional, and give you more room to work with. So you can see that's how you make yourself a bug. Now, depending on what size and scale you're using, that's not going to be exactly clean, so you might want to take a little more time in Pixlr to make that really look nice, but for these purposes right here, you can see my bug is nice and clean, transparent background. Thanks, PNG. Use a PNG file. There you go. Another quick tutorial from Video Save the Radio Star.